Okay, in this first series of videos what we're going to look at is how to set Maya up um, and then we're going to model, texture and render a room. We're going to put some animation in there as well. So to get started the first thing we need to do is open the application. I'm using Maya 2013 um, for these videos. Let's give that a sec to open up, it's nice and speedy. Come on software, go fast. Any second now, here we go. That's the splash screen. In case you didn't know what you were opening. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I really need a faster computer. Oh, oh, it's doing stuff. Come on, baby, let's do it. Oh, are we there? Yeah, so here we go. If you've never used it before, this is what Maya looks like. Now this window here, if you've not looked at the videos, first of all, you should work your way through these. They are really helpful. Um, I would highly recommend that. But I've seen them, so I'm going to ignore them. Okay, so this is the, uh, the interface. And we'll learn what each part is as we go through the exercises. The first thing I want to do is set up a new project. What a project is, is a collection of folders so that Maya knows where to put things and so it knows where to find them next time you're using the same project. So if you just minimize this a second, um, I've already created a folder called 3D Modeling that I'm going to put all these folders in. At the moment this is completely empty. Okay, So I'm going to create a new project to put everything inside. So to do that I need to click on File, Project Window. And then from here I can create a project. Now by default it goes into this folder here. Um, you're in your documents so it'll be in a Maya projects folder. Now that's fine if you're using your own computer all the time. If you're using a shared computer um, you really want to choose where you're going to put it. So you need to click on new. I'm going to call this project room and then I'm going to choose to put it on the desktop in that folder I just created. There we go. Select and then you've got these options here uh, and these are all names for the folders that things are going to go in they're all absolutely fine called what they are so just click on accept and we'll have a look at what that's done so if I now look in the 3D modeling folder I've now got a room folder within that and inside that all the uh, other folders that I might need whilst I'm working on the project okay so that is the first bit taken care of the second bit is just to create a new scene and save it so that we're ready to work so to do that we need file, new scene, and then we're going to save that as room 1. In fact I'm just going to save it as room, we'll do incremental saving. So save scene as room, and notice that automatically it's putting it in that folder that I've just told it to, in the scenes folder. So that's where you'll always need to look for that scene when you need it. So there we go save that and uh, we're good to go